Hey everyone, welcome back to Floor Drone Supply. I'm Mike Denhartog, Director of Customer Success, and I'm here with an exclusive head-to-head -head in the latest of drone technology. Today, we're comparing two notable drones, Japan's ACSL Soten and the Parrot Anafi USA Gov Edition. We stock and support both these aircraft at Floor Drone Supply and intend to give you the facts to let you see how these two stack up regarding specifications, features, and costs. The first look. The ACSL Soden is a compact foldable drone with a modular payload system that comes in a branded GPC case. The Soden is made in Japan by the ACSL company partnered with Yamaha Motors. This secure, versatile drone meets the NDA criteria for use here in the United States. Now, the Parrot and Not the USA Gov Edition was initially designed for the US Army program. Therefore, it is a lightweight, DOD blue-listed portable drone from France though it is noticeably much smaller, and the Parrot does have a folding design as well. However, the payload is not changeable, but since both these aircraft have a thermal variant, we think that these two are comparable enough for the head-to-head -head challenge. What do they weigh? Let's be sure to compare the aircraft's weight with the thermal payload and battery installed. The ACSL Stoden weighs in at 1,720 grams, or 3.5 pounds, while the Parrot Anafi USA weighs 644 grams or about 1.42 pounds. That's a significant difference for those of you on the go. How long do they fly? Now, let's compare the flight times. The Anafi USA's lightweight design allows for a flight time of up to 32 minutes, while the Soten offers a solid 25 minute flight time with reserves. Let's compare the payloads. Looking at the camera, is where the Soten stands out. Although, both have a three-axis stabilized gimbal and encrypted transmission system, the Soten has a 64 megapixel camera compared to the 21 megapixel camera on the Anafi USA. However, the EO camera is not the only one that is almost triple the resolution. The thermal camera also offers a much higher resolution. The ACSO Soten features the FLIR Thermal Hadron sensor used by many of today's popular top drones, such as the Teledyne Fleer Cyrus and the Teal Golden Eagle II. The Hadron 640R has a radiometric 60 hertz thermal camera with an impressive resolution of 640 by 512. The radiometric data allows us to make thermal maps unlike other cameras that are thermal but do not have the radiometric data embedded in the image, such as the older Fleer Boson found on the Skydio X2 and the Parrot Anafi USA, which is only 320 by 256 FLIR camera, which is good and the picture displayed is great, but having double the resolution can make a world of difference. As you can see here in this side-by-side -side image of the FLIR Boson on the right and the Haldron on the left. Now, looking at the EO camera on the Soten, we have a 20X digital zoom compared to the 32X digital zoom on the Anafi USA which at first sounds like the Anafi USA has 32X compared to 20 on the Soten. But when you compare these images side by side, zoomed in on the same tower, the Soten appears to have a much clearer image due to the higher resolution. When side by side at the same altitude at the max zoom, the Parrot does have the ability to go in a little further, but is the image clear enough in that high digital zoom to still be useful? Now that we've maxed out the zoom capabilities, let us pull them both back to the same 20x zoom and take a look for yourself and see which one you'd prefer. More about NDAA complaints. Both aircraft are NDAA compliant, making them suitable for local and state governments. The Soden has not yet applied for the UAS Blue certification since it was never intended for military use, but instead was designed to align more with first responders public safety and industrial use. However, the Parrot Not the USA Gov Edition proudly carries that certification for those needing a blue listed aircraft for federal and DOD contracts. 
How about the durability? The Paranafi is almost 2.5 times lighter than the ACSL Soden, giving a longer flight time. However, the plastic housing is much thinner, and without doing destructive testing, we really won't know, but I'll give you my opinion. While not scientific, I think the Soten is built much stronger and can handle light impacts without concern. But the Anafi USA is made of thin, lightweight plastic that may break easily. The lack of density also causes it to float in the wind a lot. Are they IP rated? Why yes, both aircraft are IP rated for ingress and water. While the Parrot Anafi USA can handle finer dust particles sub one millimeter at IP53, the Soten has an IP43 rating, meaning that it can provide solid protection against sand and debris down to one millimeter in size. Both have a water level protection of three, meaning they can stand up to falling rain, spraying water, and give you the confidence to operate in light rain or get home in case you get caught in a sudden rainfall. What about collision avoidance? The Parrot Anafi USA has no form of avoidance other than pilot situational awareness. Therefore, the pilot carries the sole responsibility for the avoidance. While the Soten incorporates infrared vision sensors to help detect and avoid obstacles in multiple directions, specifically front, bottom, and top. The Soten uses sensors to enhance safety and reduce incidents, giving you a greater peace of mind. What about repairability? We all know accidents happen. So just in case, let's compare the repairability. The Parrot Company has had difficulties in this area in the past having only one US-based repair facility for light repairs. All warranty repair must be submitted to them, and then if they feel it is under warranty or a covered item, they will send it to France for further assessment. All gimbal and camera repairs must also be done in France. As for Soten, the process is much easier. You can reach out to them directly or simply contact technical support representative at Florida Drone Supply and our team will arrange shipping to and from ACSL repair facility at no cost to you for warranty items and help you get what you need to get that aircraft back in the field. Since all repairs will be done here in the United States, it will take considerably less time to get you back up and running. Also, since the cameras are interchangeable, backup cameras are available and ready to go when you need them, which can be extremely convenient. Do they support RTK? Both aircraft utilize a variety of GNSS GPS systems. However, the Soden with the soon to be released RTK receiver will also support RTK base stations and NTRIP, giving you the information you need for survey grade mapping and incident reconstruction without a lot of post-mission PPK and ground control points. What about the ground control station? The Anafi USA Gov Edition comes with remote control that has a fixed antenna and external antenna ports that are not yet usable. On the back side, it has three ports, a USB-C port for charging, a USB-A port for file management, and a network RJ45 connector on the bottom that can be used for video streaming, but you must also have a video decoder at the other end of the network cable, which can be a little bit complicated. The Gov remote also utilizes a Samsung tablet, which is not the brightest in direct sunlight with predefined buttons for intended use as well. While the ACSL Soten uses the Tenso remote, which has a bright but smaller LCD screen and mostly user programmable buttons. It also has removable antennas that can be extended for external use. On the bottom remote, you have your SD card slot, an LTE card slot, the HDMI video output, a USB charging port, the headphone jack, a USB-A, and an RJ45 network plug. What about pricing? Let's talk about the price. As of now, both aircraft have MSRP pricing that is consistent among all authorized dealers. The Anafi USA Gov Edition only has one option, so it is simple. You get a hard case, two additional batteries, and a USB power adapter for $14,000 US dollars as of the making of this video. While the Soten starts out around $10,000 for the basic package, and tops out around $20,000 US dollars for the full thermal loaded package. If you need more specific or updated details on pricing, shoot us an email at info at or call 855 8 drones. We'll be happy to give you a custom quote. These aircraft are both excellent choices, ideal for industrial inspection, public safety, and missions requiring high data security. 
No one size fits all in the drone world. So find out what fits best for you. The Anafi USA Gov was released in April of 2020 and is a staple aircraft that is tried and true with the reputation it lives up to consistency. While the versatility of the Soton was released in January of 2024 and as the new drone that no one has heard of yet, I mean the key word, will continue to introduce new features and new accessories with the high hopes of it being the top dog in the NDA drone class. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe for more videos like this. If you're interested in learning more about either of these aircraft, check out our Soton video playlist or our other videos about the Anafi USA. Leave your comments below and remember, always enjoy your flight.